Hey everyone, my name is Robbie Phillips and welcome to The Process. Today, we're going to be having a look at the mindset of the pro. I've always said that climbing is one part physical, one part technical and one part mental. Drop one of these and the whole foundation collapses. However, it is the mental side that has the most encroaching capabilities over the rest, for it is the mind that governs what the body does. Mindset is the way we think and therefore has a knock-on effect on the way we live our lives. That is why you can see a very clear difference between amateur and professional climbers. Their mindset is very different and therefore their approach to climbing is different. Where an amateur will have a fairly relaxed approach, a professional will be structured, disciplined and be inherently driven to becoming better. It is this attitude coupled with training where we make the greatest gains. We talk of quality over quantity regularly and this is as true in climbing training as anything else. A professional approach to training will be to focus 100% on every set and every move throughout the exercise. But equally, nobody ever got good just doing a few hours of climbing here and there. So you have to put the time in climbing if you want to reap the rewards. Professionals love what they do and therefore finding the time to train or climb is not ever an issue. There is the approach to training called winning the session which coaches and athletes talk about. It's not just about coming in and doing the session, it's about winning the session. This idea combined with intelligent training can produce winning results. One of the biggest differences between amateur and professional level climbers is the amount of analytical detail they give to a climb. Where an amateur level climber will give a few seconds, maybe a minute, looking at a climb, a professional will spend hours analysing over the very minute body positions and movements. The more analytical you are with your climbing, the more fine-tuned your climbing technique will become over time. The best climbers didn't become the best overnight. It took hard work and dedication. Professional climbers aren't necessarily the ones getting paid to climb. The professional climber is a mindset. It's about looking at the balance between life and climbing that's going to allow us to make an improvement in our performance. To foster the pro mindset, start making little changes in your daily life, such as keeping a training log. Log the ups and the downs of your daily climbing. Try and structure your sessions. Plan climbing time and rest time. Make sure to add a 10 to 15 minute break in the middle of every climbing session. With structure comes focus, and it's easy to lose sight of this in a climbing wall with many distractions. Try and remain focused on your training and leave socialising for your break periods. Lastly, have a goal for each day. Think of the bigger picture. What are you working towards? Professional climbers work hard and train hard, but most importantly they adapt to stress, energy levels and psych. They plan rest when they need them, they eat well and they know what they want. They have goals and that's what fuels them. They always find their balance, not somebody else's, because they listen to their body and don't just copy what others are doing. I hope you've enjoyed watching this episode of The Process Season 2. For more detailed information on the topics discussed in this episode, then follow the link in the description.